to some extent, the people of Suriname know that the mud banks and mangroves protect the coast, but it uh, needs to be emphasized exactly how important they are. The coast of Suriname. Here, the coastline is dominated by a complex system with interactions between migrating mud banks, trade winds, and mangrove forests. The coastal zone is low-lying, flat, and vulnerable for storms. But it is also this region that is essential for agriculture, fresh drinking water, and human settlements. The mangrove forests itself have always been acting as a natural defense, but unfortunately, this complex system is under increasing pressure. Climate change causes a rise in sea level and more intense wave dynamics. This forms a threat for the local population. But luckily, action is taken. During the Paris 2015 UN Climate Change Conference, all participating member states agreed to reduce emissions in order to keep global warming well below 2 degrees Celsius. At Utrecht University, a team of researchers launched the NWO-funded Mangro Mud Project, which tries to tackle these problems and contribute to the sustainable development goals formulated during this conference. We know mud banks are migrating along the coast of Suriname and create opportunities for mangrove growth and its role for protecting the coast. But a lot of in-depth knowledge is required to improve our understanding of complex interactions that cause coastal retreat and expansion in the relation to climate change. By analyzing and modeling the coastal dynamics, the project contributes to climate action, halting of degradation, loss of biodiversity, and simultaneously promotes education and awareness by collaborating with Anton Decom University NGOs and local institutes. Today, and while reading the literature, it's become clear how important this project is and how relevant it is. We've identified some serious gaps in our knowledge about the coast in Suriname, and the Mango Mud project will close a lot of them off, I believe. Um, in the first stages of data collection, which I'm in now, I see that there's very little been monitored and the data is even hard to retrieve. The few companies and organizations that do work in the mangroves are very scattered. To adapt to climate change, we need to understand where problems are occurring and might occur in the future on the ground. For this, we need to use innovative technology to really understand what's happening. During a kickoff event organized in April 2018, academics and NGOs came together to launch the project. This multidisciplinary team of researchers and NGOs strives ultimately towards coastal protection for Suriname.